Hey YouTubers, it's Mark from Truth Seeker and I'm in Soul 669. Smile, you're on candid camera. You should only know, buddy. Look at that handsome devil. Isn't that weird? I know I've been showing you guys some creepy stuff lately. I don't want to creep everybody out. But... And that looks like something right out of Star Wars, right? Smile, buddy. Look at that. Thank you, NASA. Do I really believe that's an alive alien? No, I mean, it's, to me, I think it's a statue. Some type of carving. But, uh, a couple other cool things in this soul. And look at that strange thing down there. Let me show you a couple other cool things. Of course, look at the front of this rock. That's normal. I mean, you could see that there's stuff underneath there. You could just see it. And you get, what you notice is a lot of these rocks that they do this to, they have this pyramid shape to them. Like I've been saying, I think they're some type of grave markers. If you go back to a lot of my videos, the ones I point out with all this blocking, a lot of them have this shape. Just look at some of this stuff. I mean, you can't tell me that this stuff don't look metallic. It just doesn't. It just doesn't make a lot of sense. Why they would even leave some of this stuff in there? Look at this piece. This is supposed to be a rock, okay? Look what's underneath here. See, there's a metallic object, right? See this blocking? Look, I mean, you can just see where it, the blocking ends. I mean, just look what they're doing. But look at this piece that's hidden, that popped out. For some reason, the computer didn't grab it. But look at that. It looks like some type of metallic canister or something. How is this supposed to be a rock? And then you see the object next to it, what they did to it. This object. This. I mean, here's, here's another rock. I mean, these are supposed to be rocks. Look at the manipulation on this piece. This is the kind of stuff I love. Now, this is supposed to be, this is a rock, okay? Now, what the hell is this stuff? Now, there's a reason, I mean, all right, this is all fake. All this fake sand, this is all CGI. They're just adding this in. It doesn't even make any sense. You could see where it's real heavy to manipulation. You could see the blurring here. To me, I think this thing is like one pretty big item, and they just blur and block some of it out. But look at this. Let me see how close I can get you into this. See, I can't do this with the video capture software. I just can't get you in there, you know. 
and really, you know, I appreciate everybody dealing with, you know, me using a handheld. You know, I could use screen capture for some stuff, but it just doesn't work on the other stuff. And a lot of people are on phones and tablets, and if you don't zoom in, I mean, you know, these people are just not seeing this stuff. I mean, I view a lot of stuff on my phone. And a lot of times, you know, I don't see it till I get home. You know, and I put it on my 70-inch TV. I watch YouTube on there, you know. And then, you know, I see I see this stuff. But on my phone or tablet, a lot of times I'm, I'm lost. I just don't see even my own stuff sometimes, you know. That's why with the handheld, I can really get you guys in here. You know. I mean, this, this Canon... I gotta tell you, Canon and Nikon, just their cheap, you know, handhelds, are really good cameras. Just for all around pictures, even too. Just get a nice megapixel camera. Photography is a really great thing. But, I mean, look at this thing. Here's a cool item. Look at this thing. Some little carving in the center. And this little weird item. Someday, way in the future, there's going to be a generation that's going to laugh. Our government, they're going to laugh about the way this stuff was hidden. It might be hundreds of thousands of years down the road if we make it that far as a civilization, which I don't have much hope in. But because uh, all we seem to want to do is hate each other, kill each other. You know, if you're the bigger kid on the block, you're always looking to stomp, and that mentality's got to—it's got to be lost. Like Ronald Reagan once said. Everything would kind of change pretty quick. I think this was in time of the Cold War. If we had an outside threat, an alien threat against this world. Let me tell you something. Iraq, Pakistan, Afghanistan, Russia, Germany, France, Canada. I mean, everybody, trust me. We'd all be working together. Even those little uh, opium poppy growers in Afghanistan, trust me, their little asses, their little turban asses would be scared too. Their little terrorist asses. If they seen an outside threat coming, that could just vaporize individuals, towns, cities. Trust me, everybody be everybody would be friendly. Everybody be working with each other. I think that's one of the coolest things Ronald Reagan ever said. He probably took a lot of shit for just even saying that. Or he was hinting to something. But that was one cool cat, I'll tell you. The Star Wars Initiative. There was something going on there. But yeah, you know, everybody hating and hating each other. And if everybody tried to, you know, at least once a day did something nice for somebody, it would be a pretty cool place to live. But yeah, someday I believe there's going to be a generation out there that's just going to laugh their ass off about all this stuff being hidden. I mean, look at this. See, they tried to hide this, okay? You could see. There's the eye, right? Comes down, there's carvings in it. You could see where it's got all little little carvings going back. It looks like a, a small dragon's head. It actually even looks like it's got a fang coming out the side here. And then you can see something right to the left of it. See but what it is from a distance? This stuff is made to look like rocks in it pretty much does unless you really know what to look for and how to adjust you know the contrast and brightness and saturation 
and you got to know how to film it too. I mean, it's, it takes a lot of practice. But this stuff's really there. I don't add. I've never added anything to any of my videos. Never had to. I wouldn't anyway. But with what NASA gives me, I'm doing fine. Alright guys, like I said, I'm in Seoul 669. It's a beautiful day. Love you guys. True Seekers out.